question number five, we're going to see <clears throat> how um, the emissions reductions that we get from reducing um, the reliance on fossil fuels dramatically compares to reducing the per capita energy demand instead. So this shows the results from uh, question four. So this was so when we set all the, the fractions to, to 5% or 0.05 for coal, oil, and gas. But we kept the per capita energy graph in its sort of starting form here. Now, what we're going to do is just to turn off those switches. So we're not going to do anything in terms of reducing fossil fuels, but we are going to become more efficient in terms of our energy use. And so we want to have <clears throat> basically a straight line across here. So I'm just going to try to approximate. You don't have to be too precise about this, but there, that's more or less a straight line all the way across. So per capita energy demand will not increase. It'll stay the same uh, per person as we go through time. So you hit OK and then run the model again and we'll see the resulting emissions curve and you can see that it's higher than what we got from reducing fossil fuels. So this particular reduction or at least no growth in the per capita energy demand didn't give us a, the, as big a result in terms of emissions reductions in the year 2100 as the um, fossil fuel reduction scenario. So that is the answer to this question.